I think of Africa, one of the most iconic animals I think of is the giraffe. I love working with the giraffe here at the Columbus Zoo, and it just they're just so incredible and amazing. Not only are they beautiful, um, but they have lots of cool features about them. Um, obviously, their size is one of their high points, uh, if you will. They can get up to 18 feet tall. They also have incredible eyesight, so they're known as the eyes of the savanna because obviously, given their height, they can see everything throughout the savanna. So recent research has found that there are four species of giraffe in the wild. Um, those are the northern giraffe, the southern giraffe, the Maasai giraffe, and also the reticulated giraffe. Here at the Columbus Zoo, we're happy to house two of those species. We have the reticulated and we have the Maasai. A lot of times people ask us, how can you tell them apart? When you look at them side by side, it's super simple. Um, the reticulateds, I like to describe as that plush toy that you would buy in any you know, gift shop. They have those distinct brown spots with those white lines that really like make the spots look segmented. But then the Maasai, if you look at the Maasai, their spots are more puzzle pieces. So they're all a little bit different um, and they're much, much darker. So the big question is, why do giraffe have these spots? The most obvious reason is for their camouflage. These spots allow them to blend in with their background of the savanna and the trees and be hidden from any of their predators. But another reason is for thermoregulation. A fun fact about giraffe is that they don't sweat, so they have to have some sort of way to release all of that body heat. Underneath these spots is a very concentrated arrangement of blood vessels. These blood vessels can both expand and contract. So during the day when it's hot, these blood vessels, they expand. When they expand, it allows for the giraffe to release their body heat and cool themselves down because again, they don't sweat. In the evenings, when temperatures do get a little bit cooler, these blood vessels, they constrict, allowing for the giraffe to hold in that body temperature. So unfortunately, giraffe are listed as vulnerable in the wild. Over the past 30 years, we've lost about 40% of giraffe. Um, there are two big reasons for this. Um, one is poaching. The other main reason is the encroachment of humans on their habitat. Um, so there are lots of organizations out there who are striving to um, help with this conflict. We here at the Columbus Zoo are proud supporters of many of those organizations. Um, two that we work very closely with is uh, GCF, which stands for Giraffe Conservation Foundation, um, but also the Wild Nature's Institute. When you come to the zoo, you might not think that you're giving back directly, but you certainly are. Every time you walk through those gates, portions of your admissions or your food sales or even what you buy from the gift shop goes towards saving animals such as the giraffe. So with your support of the Columbus Zoo, you're helping save species such as the giraffe for generations to come.